Okay, so picking up where I left off on my first video of how the child abduction started. Okay, so we're at the June uh, 20, uh, no, June 30th, 2017 uh, court hearing, okay, that was never supposed to take place because the uh, case, the family case law was in appellate court, like I said, um, and the, the trial court did not have the mandate, so Judge Scott D. Larson knew he didn't have the mandate. Uh, he made that statement in the uh, court transcripts for June 29th, 2017, so, <laughs> but he went ahead with having a hearing anyway the day after on June 30th, 2017, knowing he didn't have the mandate from the appellate court, so he didn't have any authority, okay, but he went ahead and did it anyway, you know, because that's, again, that's their justice. So, um, so basically that day was, um, that day was for if I did not, um, uh, you know, give the, the opposing party, the biological dad, his visitation, okay, which keep in mind there was an order of protection in place against him for protecting my kids from the sexual abuse that he did to them, okay? So uh, Judge Larson knew this, uh, ignored it, you know, didn't want to acknowledge it, he didn't care, okay? So, um, so it was to, I would give John visitation or um, I would spend 60 days in the Adams County, Illinois jail, okay? So, or, you know, I could purge, but if you go back and read his order from June 19th, 2017, um, there was no way to purge. If, if, and I will, I will post that if you guys want to read it. it. You know, there was no way to purge myself, even if I gave uh, the biological dad visitation. There was no way. And he basically said that, you know, I would sit in jail until uh, I complied, is what he would say. So. You know, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, threatening somebody with jail is um, like the very last resort. You know, you, you would have to like first, you know, um, take away their license and there's other things that you can do. None of those were ever done. It was just immediately straight to jail for me, okay? But of course, Judge Scott D. Larson overlooked the uh, intentionally overlooked the sexual abuse hearing against the biological dad on May 30th, 2017. Okay, we had a hearing on May 30th, 2017 for sexual abuse against the biological dad. Um, my witnesses showed up from Arizona, so the deputy sheriff showed up that did the forensic interview on my daughter. Um, my kids' therapist showed up that was treating them you know, for the sexual abuse and their uh, behavioral problems, okay, because they were sexually molested. Okay, so they both showed up to Quincy, Illinois, uh, from Arizona. So uh, my attorney was there, uh, the opposing party was there, and his attorney, of course, Donald R. Shearing, and my witnesses were on the stand, and basically Judge Larson said, uh, you know, my witnesses were liars. Um, he said their testimony wasn't cred credible. Okay, this is a deputy sheriff over 20 plus years who does forensic interviews for children all the time. Called her a liar. Ca called her a liar. Uh, yeah, so, um, and you know, Judge Larson called me a liar. Um, basically, what he wanted to do was hold me in contempt of court, and he wanted to have me jailed, okay, for protecting my own children from being molested by their biological dad. He wanted to have me jailed for that. So um, that um, hearing actually did get continued um, to uh, June 19th, 2017, okay? Um, and then when June 19th, 2017 came around, the sexual abuse just happened to get, you know, overlooked. Uh, well, we're not gonna hear that basically um, I'm just going to uh, put your client in contempt, which was me, okay? Judge Larson wanted to put me in contempt, and he wanted to jail me. So, you know, and keep in mind, there was an order of protection in place even during this time uh, against uh, the opposing party for, for protection of my two children, okay? So, of course, that was ignored by Judge Larson. And like I said, so this led up to the uh, June 30th, 2017 hearing um, 
by the way, on, on June 29, 2017, um, I don't know if I talked about this, I might have, but they, uh, Judge Larson and Donald R. Shearing actually dismissed my attorney of record, uh, which is Mike Goldberg, okay, he's a Chicago, Illinois attorney, he's a great attorney, okay, uh, they dismissed him uh, without my knowledge and without Mike's knowledge, he didn't know. So um, the only way I found out that they dismissed my attorney was because I read the transcripts. Okay, and that's how I found out about this child abduction. So when I read those, I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What is this? Um, you know, like I said, they Judge Larson knew that uh, I have sole custody. I had sole custody at that time. You know, I have sole custody, and I had sole custody then during June 30, 2017, when Donald R. Shearing and Judge Larson went in this scheme together, this conspiracy of, oh, let's get, let's charge her for child abduction and then we can take her kids from her. Okay, we can make it look like she did this even though it, it's not factual. It, it's actually impossible, you know, when I have sole custody, you can't abduct your own kids. It's an impossibility, okay? So, um, after, you know, during that hearing on June 30th, 2017, he was like, okay, it's whatever time she didn't show up. Well, he shouldn't have the hearing because it was in appellate court, but he did issue a warrant, okay? So I'll show you the warrant. Just know the warrant is dead, okay? So here's what the warrant looks like. Here's what it is, okay? And as you can see, do, you know, do you see a judge's signature on here? Nowhere. Is there a seal of the court on here? No, nothing on there, but they were trying to say this is a valid warrant, right? So what it says here, um, you are to serve this writ and return it without delay. This body attachment will expire. Okay, listen to this. This body attachment will expire one year after the date on which it was issued. Okay. You know, so <laughs> like I said, his, his signature is not on here. And this actually did expire um, June 30th, 2018 is when it expired. Okay, and um, I, will show, I will show you something else. So, um, later on, actually I'll get back to you in a minute.